Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Trova. As you can see, I am the awesome majestical winter wonderland themed Joe Santa, not Santa, snowman head of destiny. And as you can see, I am a pretty fast tune razor actually. I'm using the exact same gear as my shadow hunter. Like I literally just took it off, but I switched this to magic damage and you know, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, my Tomb Raider is actually getting up there in power rank. It's um, almost 14k, and to be honest, I can actually handle Uber 9 fairly well. It's not nearly as good as my Shadow Hunter, obviously, you know, for obvious reasons. But my gems aren't um, too bad. I actually have, like, all of my gem slots filled, but as you can see, almost none of them are maxed. Except for this one and this one and... Do you have any more? No, I do not. But anyway, I still do really good damage. And with my... Actually, I gotta switch this. Where's um, Arcane? So, if you have a specific setup with the Tomb Razor, you're actually really good. And I need Chair Strike. But if you don't need Chair Strike with the Tomb Razor, you can put the Zealous Emblem on. And what that does is it refills all your energy when you use your ults. And the reason why that's good is because if you see right here, when I use my alts, it didn't really do that there, but I think, I'm pretty sure when you use your alt, it's supposed to use energy. Oh, never mind, I have this emblem on, I'm, <laughs> I'm a steward. So anyway, let me just put on Sure Strike. So normally what happens when you use your alts is it uses energy, and why that's a problem is because when you use your alts as a Tomb Raider, like with this setup, Normally what you do is you use your alt and you press 1 and then you just click like you hold left click And that's a problem because as you can see you don't have nearly as much energy when You're doing this so like when you're using banshees and The other thing with this is I actually have the class gem Which if you can see it it actually like that also takes energy just itself when I use it so combining that with this I barely have energy to use so that's why you really want to use the zealous emblem if you have it like not just if you have it like if you don't need sure strike anymore you really really want to use it but as you can see it my crit hits not the best 52% so if I use it, I go to 72 so I probably should have it I'm gonna use it just for this video so see zealous so I'm not going to be doing as much damage, obviously, but because of crits, but enough about that. That's been like three minutes. I'm surprised I talked that long just about one thing. But anyway, today I'm going to be giving away the movie theater glasses. So guys, now you can go to the movies and awesomeness will happen. So if you want to win that, just comment down in the comment section down below and you may or may not have a chance to win. Well, you do have a chance to win, but besides that... Jeez, look how fast my mouse is! Like, man, that's crazy. So let's just go in a world and hop right to it. So I'm mainly doing the Tomb Raider right now because I just want to show you how powerful my Tomb Raider is. And a class that's not my Shadow Hunter that can actually solo Uber 9 without much problem is actually really good. Because, as you know, I main Shadow Hunter and pretty much all of my other classes can handle uber 9 to save their lives but the tomb razor i haven't really built him that much and he's already really good like this like obviously he's not doing the most he can do obviously because i don't have the gems appropriately and all that but he's doing pretty decent damage then again this is uh um you know that dungeon the the dungeon, that dungeon that does the thing. The dungeon that's the kill 30 enemies, so they don't have that much health, but still, it's really good. Let me see if I have the, you yeah, have Zealous. Um, sometimes it is broken, and it doesn't actually trigger the Zealous, even though it should. I don't know why it doesn't. Well, I do know why it's, it's try on worlds. They, you know, they, they break everything. But pretty much what I do, I throw down five of these guys, or five um three i can't count i failed preschool guys and then i just use my ultimate and that pretty much does a lot of damage so pretty much with the tomb razor what you're probably going to be doing if you're using this setup is just pressing two and one 
and that's pretty much it. But I don't have the best crit hit, so only half of the time I'm actually doing crits, so it could be a lot better, like, it, it really could. Um, if I actually bothered to level the Tomb Raider up, I'm sure it would be really, really good. And just the style of the Tomb Raider, he's like a really lazy class, and it's just easy to, you know, it's just so easy to do stuff, especially because the bosses aren't actually aggroed to you, they're aggroed at your minion, so just that alone it just makes it especially easy to main the Tomb Raider. And if you look at my health, you will notice that I'm not even rocking 200k health, and I'm surviving. Granted, I'm barely surviving because, you know, the the flask keeps on breaking and all that. But, you know, it's still good. Let's try it on this guy. So that, and then this. So as you can see, I'm doing decent damage. Like, I, I know I keep on saying this, but I haven't built my Tomb Raider at all. Like, I pretty much threw random gems on him that I found throughout adventuring. And that's pretty much what my Tomb Raider is at the moment. So if I actually wanted to, I could equip this guy really well, and I could actually main him. Well, main him as far as doing a couple dungeons, but I could see him being like a second, you know, like a main class, I guess. You know, like a, a secondary, I don't know. But that would be very interesting, actually. And like I said, the main thing is the Tomb Raider, it, he's not being attacked that much, so... You need some health, but you don't need, like, one mil, like, you know, other classes, but then again, my Shadowhunter only has 200 or 400k, I think, and he survives because he has Death Defying. Obviously, the Tomb Raider setup that I'm using, you can't use Death Defying, because the reason why this setup is so special is because every time I use my ult, it actually uses a flask, so... Um, every time I use my alt, essentially what it's doing is it's giving me 50% of my health. So, every time I press 2, it's just, you know, it's just giving me half of my health back, which is really nice. And on top of that, with Banshee's Boon, um, yeah, Banshee's Boon, you know, that's pretty much a lifesteal and a 90% damage reduction, and I do not know where I'm going <laughs> in the slightest, so let's me actually... Go back to the other room because this is you know this is like the only way i know how to do this dungeon because i'm a scrub lord you know we all we this has been established multiple times this is yeah this is pretty much what i do i just bomb down the main floor and then i usually just fall down here and then that's bada bing bada boom that's pretty much what you do the guide to success <laughs> intro of starring nintendo gulmer it, it's the best strategy guys so um, one thing that I found with the Tomb Raider is that you kind of want to be slow with your abilities. If you're pressing 2 and 1 really fast, that really it tends to break it. And obviously that's no good in the words of Sonic the Dankog. That's no good. So, <laughs> don't want to be doing that. But yeah, the fact that I can have such low health and survive this is really good. Like, as you saw there, he punched me and I was about to die, which, to be honest, I probably would have died if I wasn't paying attention. But I got that health pretty much instantly. And as long as I'm in Banshee's Boon, he doesn't do that much damage to me. I I could stand for a bit more health. If I ever did main this guy, there's no way I would settle for this much health. Maybe 300, 400k, although I don't think 300k would all would even be that much of a difference, to be honest. But, um, yeah, maybe 4 to 500k, that would be really good. I think my Shadow Hunter only has, like, I don't know, maybe like 4 or 500, something like that. But, this is pretty good. I used to actually be a Tomb Raider main back in the day, back in the old days of Trove. I used to be a Tomb Raider main and all that, you know. And... I don't know why I stopped. I think the main reason why I stopped is because the Shadow Hunter looked, you know, it looked really appealing with the class gem and all that. Because, um, bear in mind, this was before the class gems, and I really did like the Tomb Raider. Um, I think before the Tomb Raider, I was actually a Boomerang main, and then before that, I was a Candy Bar main. 
but that was a very long time ago when I was actually a candy bar main and I remember that so well because like this was back and I mean way back in the day back before dragon challenges and back before dragon challenges it was really hard to get flux because pretty much before dragon challenges what you ended up doing for flux was you ended up um it was only deconstructing items back then when i started playing it was pretty much only deconstructing items which is pretty much why back then when you looked at the market you would only see stuff for like um 10 to 12k that was that's pretty much what everything was being sold for if you needed something like a costume it was only 10 to 12k because pretty much back then 10k was like 100k because like i said the only way to make flux pretty much was to um deconstruct anything like deconstruct the gear and stuff and and then dragon challenges came and the only reason why dragon challenges were so big in flux is because first of all Dragon challenges used to give you like 13 dragon cash. It was either 13 or 11. I'm not sure It might have actually been more. They've actually Nerfed the amount of cash that you got so many times. I lost count But back then and this was only a Zulian cash as far as I know because the Zulian cash were like That was like the testing cash. So what ended up happening was when you opened an Azulian cash, it was pretty much a shaper's vision like, it would give you uh, 2 to 5k, like, it was outstanding at the time, people were so confused, like, dude, is this bugged or something, why am I getting this much flux? And to top that with, like I just said, you you were getting, like, you know, um, 18, well, was it 18? I think I remember 18, actually, it was... It was either 18, 16, or or 12, or something like that. It was it was above 10, that's all I remember. And, like I said, they nerfed the number so many times. And now you only get, like, what, 2 or 4? I don't really do dragon challenges that much, so I don't really know the numbers or anything. But, that's pretty much what it was back then. And, just, all this was, I know I, I kind of, like, talked about so many weird things that kind of didn't really have anything to do with what I was talking about. It kind of did, it kind of segued into that, but pretty much what the whole thing that I was getting at is I remember when I was a candy barb, like when I actually mained him and I was going for the Santa Barb costume cuz back then, you know, that was like the thing that I wanted. It's like, "Oh, I really need this costume and all that." And I remember paying 20k for that, which back then was pretty much 200k i don't know if that's even how you want to look at it but that's kind of how it was back then and getting that costume was like so you know it was so nice for me i really like that costume but it was kind of short-lived it was about i don't know a month or two after that then i just swapped off of him i don't know it really didn't last that long but you know, it was good while it lasted, and the the Boomeranger, I still like him as a class, but he has really bad knockback, and I don't know why the devs insist on keeping knockback on characters like that. Like, they just keep the knockback, and even though the knockback stat is removed, they just naturally have that knockback. It's like with the candy bar with his right click, it would just knock them all the way back like i remember back when knockback was a stat and there were knockback rings and all that and i remember having full knockback just because what the heck and <laughs> i was launching things off like it was nothing especially the desert biome where there's like it, i think it's an hourglass dungeon and at the very top it's a flat arena and if you right clicked with the candy bar, it was it was GG. Like it was gone. You were not seeing that boss. You were pushing it off the edge. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much with the candy bar. The um, <clears throat> the boomeranger. Like I said, he's still good. But the main reason why I got off of him is because they nerfed his class gem, and 
for those of you who actually don't know, the Boomeranger, like his, the chickens that come out of his urn, they do the exact same damage as your basic attack, so every time you get those chickens out of your urn, it's essentially like having three more of you fighting a boss, and that was the same for the, like for the bomb chickens. The bomb chickens were the same as the urn chickens until they nerfed them, and now, you know, kind of like for obvious reasons, because you could just spam them. And what you can do if you really want to, it's not like really beneficial or anything, it's just kind of like to have fun. But what you can do is you can, um, you can put on the Chrono Emblem to, you know, reduce your cooldown, get on Bandolier, or, yeah, Bandolier, whatever it's called, and pretty much keep on using the flask and you can just keep on, you know, just keep on chucking bombs down until the point where there's like 20 chickens. And before the nerf, that was essentially having 20 more boomerangers fighting. And I think that's how people got the Times and Daughter of the Moon back then. Obviously, it's changed now, but that used to be a good way. Like, I did test that, and it did kill her, like, really, really fast. Oh, <laughs> well, I wasn't paying attention. That's a good place to stop, because it, actually, I'm almost already at 17 minutes, which... I don't usually record for this long on Trove, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So in the next video, I'm going to be playing as the Joe class, and the Joe class, it's its a Joker class. It's because my life is an intent joke. So anyway, <laughs> see you guys then, and <laughs> goodbye.